of course. Hello. Chris Cornell played Getaway Car solo acoustic style 2, so in the interest of following each and every rabbit hole, when possible, uh, to the end of it, we're going to do that today. But first, let me extend a mighty thank you to Mr. Nate Smith for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the cause. Club Nate, thank you so freaking much. If you'd like to know what that's about, the link, of course, is in the description. Now, if you recall from yesterday's video on actual getaway car, we had D3 and G2, and that was F root and F's major third, or the two bottom notes from your baby F shape, and then we moved it up two frets, a whole step, and that is a G. That's G's root and major third from F shaped G, right, on frets three, four, and five. Then what happened was we went uh, five five on D G. Now that could be uh, surmised as those two notes out of your C chord, but Chris passes through that that argument uh, altogether. So we're gonna forget that. And the last shape was D seven G five. That's an A root and a minor third. So what we're left with is F G and A minor. And you can go ahead and play it like that. But Chris did not play a whole G chord. Here for the verse, he just played a G note and then kind of strum away on B, G, and D. And well, that actually is a G chord. As long as you promise not to strum the baby E string or the A string, you've got four of the notes out of your G chord, right? Would be three, two, open, 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 three. Or of course, play your G like that, but both are G chords. So lets you give a little wiggle on that G note. The fancies happen on the A minor, so you can play around with that B string, and then hit that G note on the E string 3rd fret, and that is the note in the actual song. That makes it an A minor 7, so you can hit that or not. One more option for fancies there is the ring finger, also makes it an A minor 7. For the verse. The chorus should not be too much of a surprise as it was the ultimate fancification of regular open chords. So we're just going to play the same regular open chords but do the things that Chris did solo acoustic instead of the things that Tom Morello did on the record, right? So C and just the B string again to F to E minor. Um, and, and the one he did here instead of from the real version was on the D string. Two, which is how it is when you're playing D minor, right? Two, open, and then A3, which is the actual line of the melody. To D minor. And then E major, just like regular with that B string third fret, making it an E7. You can even make it an E super seven. Add two D notes in there by taking your ring finger off as well. And you've got open, two, open, one, three, open. So here we go. C. F. E minor walk. D minor. And you can, on the E string, second time, of course, is A minor. And you can do that as well. says get yourself a car and move it right along it's a uh, D minor to A minor and even on the E string third fret saw him do that a couple of times all right one time through all the parts the chorus. 
outro, he did do the the verse again, rather than keep it D minor. And that's it for Getaway Car Solo Acoustic Chris Cornell Campfire Style. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Thank you all so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.